Hi, this is Marty with I Did It Incorporated, and today we're here for another quick tech video. We're going to show you a really common practice in the industry today, and then we're going to show you why we don't want you to do it. And that is putting a three-quarter DD shaft up inside the hollow one-inch DD shaft of a lot of steering columns. This is an older Iditic column, and this is very common for a lot of General Motors columns as well. And there's a lot of reasons why not to do this. And uh, we're going to show you some of those reasons right now. So here's the end of the Iditic column, again an older one. That's important, I'll tell you why later. And this three-quarter shaft will slide right up inside there. And what people will do is they'll mark the inside, because there's a hole right here, They'll take the shaft back out and they'll drill a 3 8 hole inside this 3 quarter inch shaft. And they put a bolt through it. That really weakens this shaft. It takes half the material out. So if you do it this way, your entire steering system is relying on one bolt and one nut to hold the whole thing together. I don't care if it's a grade 8 bolt or whatever it is. That's not safe. Our good friends at Borgeson agree with us. You don't want to do it that way. Another problem is that when this is in here like this and you're constantly, you know, years worth of going back and forth, back and forth, it can actually open up this hole a little bit and now you've got a sloppy steering system and potentially dangerous steering system. And now we'll show you the proper way to make this connection. Okay, I've got a, a Borgeson coupler here. It's one inch double D on one side, three quarter inch double D on the other side. We slide this onto the double D shaft of the column. We put the three quarter inch shaft in there. Obviously we've got set screws on there. You tighten those down. You've got a much more secure and certainly safer steering system. You can do the same thing with a universal joint or a vibration joint, a rag joint, it doesn't really matter. But we want something on there to connect these two together so we're not sliding the shaft up inside the hollow tube. What we're looking at here is the end of a brand new Iditic column and we intentionally made it so you can't put the shaft up inside there. Don't use a hammer. People call us on the phone, they talk about doing stuff like that. Do not put three-quarter shaft up inside there or force it. Like I said, we did that intentionally. Use the U-joint, use the coupler, use a rag joint. You'll be much safer and much happier in the end.